This is the future. So I have shown a preview about this Mesa and Gloom combo, and many were pleased to see our resident aimbot having infinite energy for her peacemaker, that you can just stand in one corner and murder enemies with her regulator pistols, you see. Gloom has a special synergy with Mesa, I know it's kind of stupid to think since Gloom and Peacemaker has energy drain that even with max efficiency, the energy drain will still be horrible. Well, we can fix anything with the right build and set up right, before we get into the details of this amazing Mesa combo, I would like to remind you that the Tenecon 2021 digital pack giveaway is still going on. To enter, you just simply click the link I have provided in the pinned comment below. Also, I will be hosting another giveaway really soon, and it will be a Chroma Prime and Zephyr Prime access giveaway. So, don't forget to check back later for more prizes and crazy Warframe content that I have stored for you guys. I will also be tackling what digital extremes have in store for us in Tenecon 2021, and I'm pretty sure you will be delighted about this good news. We are not running dry in Warframe content here. So stick around and I hope you are enjoying what we are providing in this channel. Now let's get back to the video. I don't know if I have said this in one of my videos, but I was thinking that the only way to keep Mesa alive while standing still with her peacemaker is that her exalted guns will have decent life steal. I was referring to mods like healing return for melee weapons. But then, it never came out because I think that would be too overpowered right? Well. That changed when Shevagath's Gloom ability arrived on the scene. Do remember that each time you hit an enemy, with your weapons or abilities, you will gain a portion of your life back. And when you take Mesa's Peacemaker into consideration, which has lots of DPS and can dish out multiple hits in just a couple of seconds, then it's safe to say that you will be regenerating life as fast as you shoot your regulator pistols. But the biggest problem, like I've said earlier, is the insane energy drain when both Peacemaker and Gloom are active. But like I've said earlier also, we can fix that with that right build and setup. I was kind of confused at first about what ability to replace with Gloom. The first ability is my first option, but I kind of doubt for a second since I will not be using her shooting gallery for this combo. The reason behind this is that we will be using the Hunter Adrenaline mod to restore our energy and sustain both Peacemaker and Gloom. Shatter Shield will just be occasionally used for this combo since Peacemakers heal are insane that you won't even need damage reduction. In fact, I highly advise that you don't use Shatter Shield so that Hunter Adrenaline will restore energy efficiently. In the end, I decided to replace Peacemaker with Gloom. I'm just joking, I replaced Shatter Shield since this will be the most useless ability for this combo. The build I'm running for this Mesa combo is simply this. A balanced mix of efficiency, range, and duration is all intended to make Gloom's healing effect work well with Mesa's Peacemaker. If you are too worried that the damage of this combo is low, then don't as I got a few tricks that I will share later. As I've said earlier the build doesn't need Shatter Shield, as adaptation alone will keep you alive. 95% damage reduction will slow down the energy recovery process so, I highly advise you not to use it especially when both Gloom and Peacemaker are active. And of course, Umbral Vitality and Umbral Intensify for more power strength and effective health. To make this combo better, I added the Decaying Dragon Key to almost get rid of my shields. Since we will be relying so much on Hunter Adrenaline to keep our energy full, we should dump the shield gating mechanic. Also, Viral will make your life easier. To spread Viral status faster, you can use Primer guns like the Cedo and mod it with Viral status or, you can use the Panzer Vulparpilla which also works fine for this combo. Viral is very useful in increasing the damage of your regulator pistols especially against enemies that have health. Lastly, the regulator build is all about critical, damage, fire rate, and two dual status mods that form an element against which a specific faction is weak against. There are other ways to increase your damage, and that is by equipping arcane in your mesa. In that clip I have shown at the start, I did not realize that I was using arcane guardian which helps out in survivability. However, you can dump Arcane Guardian and go with Arcane Velocity and Arcane Avenger. Arcane Velocity allows your pistol to hit faster, while Arcane Avenger gives you a bonus critical chance that always procs since you get hit every time by enemies. In this case, you might want to replace Growing Power with Pistol Amp since the extra power strength is not necessary. However, you might consider using your Shatter Shield for this type of build to somehow have decent damage reduction to withstand multiple hits and recover health. This combo is 
is best used in steel path missions and even in endurance runs. It's really fun to be the best aimbot Mesa and have the luxury of infinite energy and immortality at the same time. Now go try it for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off. This is the future.